the Nazis use gas to kill millions. In concentration camps, Nazi scientists also test toxic chemical weapons on their prisoners. After the war, military investigators discover vast Nazi stockpiles of novel chemical weapons. The Allies need to dispose of these lethal toxins urgently. They choose the murky depths of the Baltic Sea. The British and the Soviet Union dump 65,000 tons of Nazi chemicals they've seized right into the Baltic. Could this beautiful emerald swirl in the Baltic Sea actually be a toxic stew of, of chemical weapons used by the Nazis during the Second World War? Allied scientists seal the lethal chemicals in metal barrels in a vain attempt to prevent corrosion from the Baltic salt water. But it's not enough. This is an enormous amount of chemicals, and, and it's going to come out at some point, this noxious Nazi cloud of poison. A team of specialized divers recently discovers traces of mustard gas on the seabed. Now scientists are examining the sunken Nazi stockpile to check for wider contamination. It really would be a, a, an environmental catastrophe. But when marine biologists examine the satellite image, they believe the green vortex is not the result of Nazi chemical wonder weapons. But they think it's something potentially just as deadly. A plague of killer microbes. So what's really going on here? It's actually an algal bloom on the Baltic Sea. If this is the case, it's deeply disturbing. These algal blooms can be just as dangerous or toxic as any released Nazi chemical weapons. Billions of organisms swarm to create a deadly toxic vortex as large as 145,000 square miles. The natural currents in the Baltic take this algae and cause these swirls and eddy currents that make up this beautiful geometric patterns that looks like a swirling vortex. And the algae suffocates all life in its path. These algae blooms take all the dissolved oxygen out of the water, creating these huge dead zones. And it can be very, very devastating to the surrounding area uh, where it occurs. To some marine biologists, this green is the color of death. <laughs> 